Hello there. This is the first video of my Break the Cover Con series. The goal of the series is to analyze some games featuring the Cover Con defense and hopefully to gather some ideas to help you deal with the Cover Con over the board. Uh, for starters, I've chosen to analyze a few games by Nigel Short, who is quite famous for his approach to the Karakan. Even one of the variations in the Karakan is called the Short Variation. Uh, this game uh, Nigel Short plays against Yasser Sarawan, former uh, US champion and the so-called Bob Ross of chess. And it was played in Manila in the year 1990. So let's take a look. e4, c6, the Karakan on the board, d4, d5, e5, advancing the pawn, then f5, uh, bishop to f5, uh, get in and out, and c3, which is a move we want to play. Anyway, in uh, most Karakan variations, uh, it may seem quite slow, but it's quite uh, feasible. e6 closing the pawn chain, e2 developing the bishop, c5 attacking the pawn chain finally. And knight to f3 defending, knight to c6 attacking again, castles and h6. And this is the first deviation, deviation from the main lines. Bishop d3 supporting the pawn chain, C takes D, C takes D, and here is the theme of this video. The C file opens up and white rushes to take over it. It's going to be very important in this game. While black takes uh, their time to uh, remaneuver the knight to the queen side, white develops the knight and puts the rook on the open file. We've got a6, knight to a4, knight to b6, attacking the knight, knight to c5, offering to exchange, black goes for it, and the rook takes on c5, maintaining the pressure over the c-file. We've got castles, and queen goes to b3. Uh, white queen is not attacking anything really, but uh, it's... Uh, just a normal developing move. Uh, we've got the knight attacking the rook from d7, rook to c3, maintaining the pressure, offering uh, black offers to exchange the queens, and uh, white allows it, however, on their own terms. Uh, the, the other rook, the f rook, is put on the c file also in order to control it. We've got queen takes b3, rook takes, because we don't want to double up our pawns and rook f to b8 and this move is actually the one that can be considered uh, turning. Black wastes a tempo to bring a decent rook to a very very passive square at the same time closing the a rook in the corner. This a rook is going to spin the rest of the game at that uh, spot. So knight to d2 repositioning the knight to the queen side, king to f8 Black notices that most of the peace action should take place on the queen's side, so the king comes up to support the defense. So we've got h4. This is another very thematic um, motif that is opening up the king's side if the white king is safe. White king is very safe here. All the black's pieces are far away, except for the white bishop, which is not doing absolutely anything. King to e8, further to the queen's side, g4 attacking the bishop, expanding, and bishop to h7. And as we can see, um, the bishop seems quite active. It covers, it is covering a lot of squares, but actually it's hitting air. It's not gonna take part in most of the action. h5, knight to d8 repositioning. Rook to b, uh, rook b to c3 again, doubling up the rooks uh, once again, and take a look how weak is the, um, how unusable is the c8 square for the black pieces. Knight to b6, 
knight to b3, and here knight goes to a4, attacking the pawn on uh, b2 and the rook on c3. Uh, this is quite a desperate attack, and um, it will succeed, however it will not do much. This knight's plan will be executed perfectly, but it will make no difference to the result. So here we can see an example of a bad plan, which was executed correctly, but it, it did not matter. Uh, rook avoids uh, the knight, uh, runs away from the knight, taking a very strong square on c7. Knight takes b2, as expected. Knight to c5, getting ready to um, to take a very active square. And here goes, here the black goes b5. And it does create a great spot at c4 for the knight and potentially breaks up the connection between the rooks. However, it gives white time to open up the king for king's side attack. So this move can be considered good, however it is very badly timed. G5, knight to c4 as expected, and now g takes h, g takes h, uh, and knight to d7. Getting ready to fork king and the bishop from the amazing square that is f6. Uh, so knight exchanges itself for a passive bishop, pawn takes, bishop to f5, king to f2, getting ready to uh, to make some, make some, making some space on the also open g file, rook to b7 and uh, getting ready to take the rook but actually it does not matter because we've got mate in 9 here. Knight to f6 as expected checking the king. The king, the black king has only one square to go and that is f8 and rook goes to g1 and at this in this position black resigns. Why does black resign? Because checkmate is inevitable. If we take the rook as we planned, then uh, then the rook, the other rook the, on the g-file delivers the checkmate. Here it is. If we go for a more desperate defense, that is, for example, if we move the bishop up, uh, move the bishop to close the g-file, then, well, then pawn takes. And uh, if pawn takes, uh, there is also a checkmate. Let's take a look. Here's a check, and here is the mate. It's quite... Yes, here is the mate with the bishop. So, uh, really nice mating net. Uh, if we... Um, if we block the pawn with the king, then pawn takes. And no matter where the king goes, rook delivers the ch said checkmate. Uh, and if here rook takes, we push the pawn, and it's still, uh, it's still checkmate in a few moves. Well, black and prolong its suffering, but it does not matter. So uh, here we've got a nice game where there were actually no major blunders, and where um, just simple positional playing and using the. Um, the strengths in the white's position, that is the C file and later the G file, so the open files, led to a winning attack. Um, it's uh, a very thematic, the C file is very thematic for the Karakhan and uh, it's quite worth um, considering this in your own games. Uh, lesson for today, take your open files with Rooks. That's all for today. Thank you very much.